Today we're in Venice Beach, California, and I cannot wait to show you this home. I'll be touring a Frank Gehry designed home. Gehry is one of the most acclaimed architects of the 20th century, known for his bold postmodern designs and his unfabricated shapes. You might know him from his work on the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles or the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain. So, a little bit about Venice Beach, California. Obviously, there's a bohemian vibe. It's a very trendy, upscale neighborhood. It has the boardwalk, the, the funky shops, the street performers, the, the colorful murals. It's got the skateboard park, the famous Muscle Beach outdoor gym, Abbott Kenny Boulevard with the trendy restaurants, the shops, the fancy boutiques, and the Venice canals. If you want to walk down there, see where the rich and famous live, it's a really great way to spend your afternoon. And here we are, 898 Commonwealth Avenue, Venice. We have a security car that does not come with the house. I wish it didn't come with the video. Just under 4,000 square feet, yours for $7 million. Let's go take a look. Welcome to Million Dollar House Tours. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a realtor here in Southern California. And in this series, I'll be showing you some of the most exclusive multi-million dollar properties owned by the rich and famous. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. All right, so here we are. Super excited about this. First impressions, seems like we're in a tree house. Look at this wood here on the gates. Top security for sure. You've got the tree straight away. You've got these sloping walls. I love this style. Obviously that's what Gary is known for, but it's really, really striking. And look at this front door. You know, I love my doors. Have I seen one as big as this? <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, let's take a look. Wow. Look at this place. First of all, the white is so striking. And before I do the tour, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Or in this case, the tree in the room. Who has a tree in their house? Maybe this is a tree house. You've got this beautiful outdoor courtyard, no ceiling up here, so you can sit out. It has the, the indoor outdoor vibe, which is so popular in California, but I have never ever seen it as vibrant as this. I think even the gnome comes with this property, or, or is it Father Christmas? I'm not quite sure. So you can open all these doors. Obviously these can close in the evening. But if you want to have a party in here or a gathering or a fundraiser, just look how open concept this house is. Want to invite 40 people over? No problem. This is the space for you. What comes to mind first when I tour this house is, are we in a tree house, a museum, a, a trendy hotel or a beautiful home? I cannot tell. Gary's work is previewed in most major museums around the world, and I can see why. This should be as well. Um, okay, so the things I'm working out about his spaces right now, these rooms could be used for anything. Is this the, the living room, the entertainment space? You decide. It's huge, first of all. Obviously, the skylights. It just leaves abundance of light can come in. I can tell he loves that. It's really a major factor in this home the high ceilings, the curves. All you can see right now is white. I totally understand. It's the bathrooms and the kitchens that have a splash of color and it really pops. So let's go take a look. So here we are. This is meant to be the master bedroom. As you can see, there's not really a space to put the bed. So I'm guessing Gary thought, here's the skylight, here's a plug, put the bed here. Everything else happens around it. That's kind of his vibe and I think it would work really, really well. Obviously, you've got the built-ins here. Maybe this is the library. Maybe that's the bedroom. Who knows? And to be honest, who cares? It's all beautiful. And look how high these ceilings are. I mean, they're high enough right here, but then they go all the way up for this beautiful skylight. I have no idea how many feet that is, but I guarantee you, I've never seen ceilings this high in a house. A museum, yes, in a house, no way. All right, let's take a look at this bathroom. So first of all, as you can see, the splash of color. This is tiger orange, the tub, loving that. Huge shower, really nice. I love the floor to ceiling tiles throughout the whole lot. Here you've got the door if you're getting changed. God, they're so heavy, I love it. 
in here, ample storage, you've got the mirror, soft closing, beautiful, and look at this window. Everything is oversized in this home, and I know that's what he liked, and, and I'm a huge fan. Beautiful windows, square, straight lines. Ah, I love this place. Here, they have this as the family room. As you can see, that's where they expect the TV to go. Entrance to outside. Once again, this could be anything. Maybe this is the dining room. Maybe this is the bedroom. I'm not sure, but I'm a big fan. And look in here. If I can open this, look in this vault. Look at the power this house is generating. Have you ever seen anything like it? I feel like I'm in a spaceship. This is super cool. Okay, let's get out of there before something bad happens. Okay, follow me to the kitchen. Once again, big windows. I'm love. It's almost like a bay window. You could put a cushion up here. This is more seating as far as I'm aware. It's beautiful. In here, once again, like the bathrooms, you've got a splash of color in here. Loving that color. If you know what that color is, comment below, please. Same in here, splash of color in the kitchen, obviously stainless steel. Look at the size of this refrigerator. You want storage? You're not as tall as I am. Just open this up, pull this down, take out your stuff, and then, oh, there it goes. This is in every, every one of these. Another bathroom. I'm sure it's not turquoise, but it looks like turquoise to me. I almost feel like I'm in a boat here or a ship. Here's the porthole and I'm looking out and I'm, I'm sailing the seven seas. And the door frames, look how high the door frames are. It's all so over the top, but it's beautiful. And in California, this is a home that you should have. Indoor, outdoor, over the top. So much to talk about. Vibrant colors splashed around the home. And to be honest, what a conversation starter. <laughs> So let's take a look at the bedrooms upstairs. Once again, you've got these walls, the skylight. The walls are kind of slanting a little bit. It's like visual pornography. You're not quite sure where to look, but it's beautiful. Every angle of this home is so meticulously thought out. Really, really is nice. He's almost like an artist in this home, not an architect. It it's really is a piece of art. Um, all right, first bedroom. I'm going to say there's a skylight, of course there is. Um, you've got the door, you've got your balcony, good size room. This is definitely a traditional bedroom, unlike the one downstairs. You've got your closet. I believe this is peacock blue. Um, if it isn't, please comment below, tell me what color it is. Um, yeah, loving the tub in there. Upstairs is uh, carpet and wood, downstairs all tile, uh, upstairs carpet, this beautiful wood. Look at the size of this right here. It's just, it's just so thought out and I'm, I'm really, really a big fan. So here's the second bedroom. Obviously you've got the tall uh, door frames as always. You've got the recessed lighting. Another nice view, secluded. No one's looking in here. Um, oversized again, everything is oversized. I really, really love that vibe. And then in here, Another splash of color. Is this midnight blue? I believe this is midnight blue. You've got the shower. You can sit down in the shower if you like. Um, yeah, excellent. So why don't we take a look outside? So let's take a look out here. Huge windows. So you've kind of got a, a front patio space here. I'd probably put some chairs out here, overlook the golf course. Look how peaceful it is. No one's driving by. You've got no neighbors ahead of you looking in. Um, yeah, listen to the birds. Lovely little area. And then up here, once again, this feels like a museum. It doesn't feel like a house. It's all, it's all meticulously designed. I'm loving the metal here. Loving the, um, the shrubbery outside. Also the elevator from downstairs comes all the way upstairs. So if people need to use an elevator to get upstairs, they can. And look at the size of these. 
This is what you see in hotels or museums or airports, not homes. This is a home, people, and look at this. Like, come on. It's so spectacular. Once again, peaceful. You got the golf course. <sighs> wow. All right, let's go check out the backyard. We were on a 10,000 square foot lot. Who has a 10,000 square foot lot in Venice, California? Not many people. And the first thing you notice, I keep talking about art. Look at this tree here. It's been meticulously cut below. This is a piece of art in itself. All right, loving the fence. More visual pornography. Foxtail ferns. I'm a huge fan of these foxtail ferns. Once again, they kind of go in all angles and all directions, a little bit like the house. It's I'm not sure if that was the reason they planted them, but um, it works really well together. You've got the slanting walls here. Everything is, it looks symmetrical, but it's not. It's like when you're at the, the you know, the, the haunted house and the, the house is leaning and you kind of lose your balance because you're not sure where you're going. This is what this house is like, but it works so well. I just keep staring at it. Maybe we need to get a room. Down here, you've got the sage. Obviously a cleansing plant, always good to have in a home. Smells great as well. And this backs onto the, uh, the bedroom, the master bedroom. So you can wake up in the morning, open the doors. It's nice and secluded, have your coffee. You've got the ivy that's gonna be coming up along here in the next year or two, beautiful colors. You've got the light. So at night, I bet this place is spectacular in the evening. Oh, I feel relaxed, I don't know about you. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, realtor here in Southern California. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe so more people get to see my videos. And until next time, I'll see you then.